Hey guys, welcome back to Movie Reviews Channel. Today I'm going to explain our erotic thriller film, 365 Days This Day, directed by Barbara Bailoas and Tomas Mandes. Serving as a sequel to 365 Days, it is based on this day, the second novel of a trilogy by Blanca Lipinska, and stars Anna Maria Siklaka, Michel Morone, Rebecca Casaradi, and Magdalena Lamparska. A few moments before their wedding, Laura and Massimo, are caught in an intimate act by Laura's friend Olga. She immediately scolds them, saying that the groom seeing the bride before marriage brings bad luck, and asks Massimo to go away, who follows her instruction obediently and works away after offering her that she can join him next time. After Massimo goes away, she asks Laura if she told him about the child, but Laura says that she is not planning to tell him that she lost her baby in a tunnel where she almost died because a war will break out. She says it is the hardest decision of her life, but Olga comforts her saying that Laura is the strongest woman she knows and she is not alone. They get up and start getting ready for the wedding. Massimo and Laura tie the knot in a beautiful ceremony in the presence of their friends and mafia family. They go on their honeymoon after that and spend some quality time with each other. One day, when they come back from taking some time out, they catch Olga and Domenico having some fun. Laura says that she will have to clean everything, while Massimo asks Domenico to follow him because they have to work. Massimo tells Laura and Olga that he planned a trip for them, which makes Laura angry because she thinks Massimo is very controlling. They get into a little argument, but soon Massimo goes away without paying her much attention. Later, Olga and Laura go for lunch, and Laura expresses her concern about whether she overreacted. But Olga assures her that it is fine because her behavior is normal for a wife. Olga advises Laura to seduce Massimo when they get back to make up for her earlier behavior. Laura compiles with her friend's advice and patches up with Massimo that night, but in the morning, when they wake up, Massimo get up early and doesn't stay back when she tries to stop him saying that he has to go to work early. As they are back to their normal lives, Laura and Olga spend the date at the beach, reminiscing about the time they met when they were six and having best friends ever since. Laura says that as long as they are together, everything will be fine. They go to eat after that, but soon Massimo arrives at the restaurant, they will add and ask them to go back with him without even giving them the chance to eat their food. Later at home, Laura is standing on the balcony when Massimo approaches her. She tells him that she has never thought of the fact that they had a rough start because she was kidnapped, which is pretty sick, and she eventually fell in love with him, but he cannot control people especially her, because she is his wife and not just some ordinary worker. Massimo tries to say that it is for her protection, but she interrupts him saying that it is not a protected environment but a jail and she cannot bear it. When she angrily stones toward the car, Massimo says that she is right because he's screwed up. After some time, Laura is standing in their garden when a man approaches her. He introduces himself as the new gardener named Nacho and asks her if she is Massimo's wife. She asked him about his origin to which he replies that his family has Spanish roots, which explains why he doesn't sound Italian and why he just started working for Massimo. Nacho says that he doesn't want to waste her time. But Laura says that he is talking to a person who has nothing to do and whose only job is to be a wife, so he won't have to worry about wasting her time. Laura thinks that it is pathetic, but Nacho says that she is wrong because being a good wife is the most difficult job in the world, and it is a talent that she is so perfect without doing anything. As they are having a chat, someone calls Laura and Nacho go away saying that he has to work and promising that he will cut some flowers for Laura later. At the Christmas party, Massimo gives Laura a clothing company and says that he knows she loves to work, so he wants her to be free and work at whatever she wants. Laura is very happy after receiving the gift from Massimo and promises to give him something he will surely like. Meanwhile, Domenico gives Olga a ring and asks her to marry him. She accepts the proposal, and after that, they all celebrate their engagement that night. After Laura and Massimo spend a passionate time together, Laura thanks Massimo for inviting her parents to the party. She then asked him if he misses his family because he only has Domenico now, and even Mario has left the job. Massimo tells her that getting a pension was Mario's own decision because he blames himself for what happened to Laura. And when she says that she thinks Massimo is a little lonely, he says that he has one brother, but it would be better if he didn't have any. Laura gets angry and asks Massimo why he didn't tell her this before, but he just goes away without saying anything. Laura and Olga go to buy dresses for an upcoming party. They are welcomed by a girl named Emily, who says that they will talk about their business after the new year, but today she has to make them look good. After trying several dresses, they finally pick their dresses for the party and leave the shop. When they are going back, Olga asked her what is going on, 
but she just says that she is hazed at Massimo, but doesn't want to talk about it for now. At the party, Laura is sitting with Massimo, but he just keeps talking to his business partners. She says that it is not for her and she wants to go back, but Massimo gets angry and says that cannot she see he's in the middle of the conversation. He then says that he just has one last person to talk to and he will do his best to be quick. Laura asks if all the conversations are important than her, but Mercy Mood just goes away without saying anything. When she isn't left alone at the table, her parents approached her saying that they are so happy with each other. She asked them the secret of their happy marriage, to which her mother says that marriage is all about compromise. Later she is dancing alone when she sees Massimo standing at the top of their stairs with his ex-girlfriend Anna. She follows them and after searching through long holes, she finds them having sex in a room. She becomes devastated after seeing the sod and runs out of the party hall. She's walking in the middle of the road when a car stops in front of her, and Nacho comes out of it. He asked her if she's okay, but she just says that she wants him to get her out of the air. After driving for a while, she asked him to stop the car and gets out. Laura says that she is very stupid and wishes she could go somewhere and never come back. Nacho says that he's going to his home in a few hours, and she can come with him if she wants to have some time alone and sort things out. She accepts his offer and sends a message to her mother, saying that she was right about Massimo, and she doesn't want to see him again, so she is going somewhere, but will contact her in a few days. She then throws away her phone and asks Nacho to take her away from them. Nacho brings Laura to a beach house and makes sure to take good care of her. They are eating when Nacho says that he made his family's dish for her. He tells her that this house belongs to his father, and he also has a sister named Amelia, who is going to visit them later. Nacho and Laura seem to hit it off and enjoy their time together. Laura meets Nacho's sister Amelia, and together they all go to the beach where Amelia says that Nacho is a great brother, and she wants him to settle down with someone nice like Laura. But Laura says that her life is very complicated at the moment. Later, Nacho and Laura watch a movie together, where she confesses that she misses Massimo, but Nacho says that she fell in love with a bad guy, and that he's very stupid if he cheated on someone like her. In the coming few days, they will spend all of their time together doing different activities. Soon Laura starts to dream of being intimate with Nacho, but doesn't share anything with him. One day when they go for a swim together, they share a case, but they don't go any further than that. On the other side, Massimo is at the house when Laura's mother comes to him and slaps him across the face. Massimo says that he has no idea where she went, but Laura's other friend says that she left a message before leaving. And whatever he did to her must have been a good reason for Laura to leave. Then she goes away saying that they are going back to their house while an angry Massimo shouts at his men to search for Laura. Massimo then meets Anna as he believes he has to do something with the Laura's disappearance. She offers to meet her with her again claiming that he can only be happy with a Sicilian, but Massimo declines stating that he knows she was involved in the current situation and that she will get what she deserves. Meanwhile later, Anna is talking to someone who looks exactly like Massimo. He reveals himself as Massimo's twin brother Adriano. Anna and Adriano were the ones who staged all the drama to drive Laura away, and now Anna says that their plan may not work because Massimo thinks she was involved in all this. After a few days, Nacho tells Laura that they are going to meet his father, and Massimo will be there. A frustrated Laura asked him for answers, as she was already doubtful about a gardener having such a luxurious life. Nacho confesses that he is the son of the local mafia boss, who is also Massimo's biggest rival. She asked him if he brought her here at the orders of his father. But Nacho says that he came willingly, and if this didn't happen, he would have found a way. After that, they traveled to Nacho's father's place, but the god says that only Nacho can go inside. When he goes inside, he finds Massimo arguing with his father about the business deal as his father threatened to take the empire from Massimo because he was not happy with the expansion he was making. While talking, his father tells Massimo that Laura is safe with her family, God making Nacho realize that he left her with the wrong goddess. Meanwhile, Laura is taken to an abundant place where she learns that Massimo has a twin brother and he was the one she sowed that day with Anna. Soon Massimo and Nacho arrive there, but before they could save her, Adriano points a gun at her head. He demands that Massimo have to give the empire to him or he will take Laura away. As Adriano is busy threatening Massimo, Laura pushes him back and tries to run toward Massimo, but Anna shoots her from behind. Nacho also takes action at the same time and fires at Anna. Adriano takes out his gun, but Asimo quickly shoots him in his shoulder. Massimo then goes to Laura, and the movie ends with him sitting on the floor with an injured Laura in his arms. If you enjoy our channel and would like to be notified of new videos, subscribe now.